In this video, I'm going to show you some quick tips on how to solve operations involving integers. Now, let's take a look at my cheat sheet over here. This is in the description down below. You are more than welcome to download it and keep it as a reference. Now, one thing as a teacher I do want to mention is it is still really important for you to understand how and why these rules work. But what I'm going to do in this video is just break it down in a way that it is easy for you to remember. So when you're working on those math questions, you know exactly what to do. Okay, so let's look at the rules for adding integers. So what we would do is we are gonna add as normal unless if the signs are opposite. If the signs are opposite, so if we have a positive and a negative, then what we're gonna do is subtract the smaller value from the larger value and keep the sign of the number with the larger value. Okay, so what does that look like? Let's go ahead and look through it. So the first one's done for us. That's our addition that we've been doing since we were little. We're adding a positive four plus a positive two. That's gonna leave us with positive six. That one's good. Our second one is we are taking five negative things and we're adding it to three negative things. So I'm gonna explain it to you um, in two ways. The first way is I owe someone five bucks and then I also owe that same person three bucks. Well, that means I'm gonna owe them more money, right? So my value, my number is gonna go up, but the sign is still gonna become more negative. And again, these signs are not opposite, they're the same, so we can kind of add them as normal and just keep the sign. So um, and that would be negative eight. The other way I can explain this is using algebra tiles. If I have five negative tiles, oh, that was six five negative tiles, and then I add three more negative tiles, that's still gonna leave me with negative eight. Okay, let's look at the, set of the third example. So with this one, we've got seven negative tiles. I have more seven negative things, and I'm adding two positive things to that. So let's take a look at our rule. If the signs are opposite, we're gonna subtract the smaller value from the larger value, and keep the sign of the number with the larger value. So if I were to subtract these two, well, seven take away two, well, that's gonna give me five, but I'm gonna keep the sign of the larger value. So the sign of the larger value is going to be negative seven. My other way of explaining this is I have seven red tiles. In fact, I'm gonna draw them up here. There's my seven red tiles, and then I'm gonna add two positive tiles. Well, if I add two positive tiles, that's gonna make sure some of those tiles are gonna cancel out. That's gonna cancel out, that's gonna cancel out, leaving me with five negative tiles. Okay, in the last example, we have eight positive things. So I've got more positive things, and I'm adding four negative things to it. So just like the rule says, we're gonna go ahead and subtract them as normal. So that leaves me with eight take away four. Well, that's just gonna be four and we're going to keep the sign of the larger value. That larger value is positive. That means my answer is going to be positive four. And I can add that plus sign, or I can't, it doesn't matter. Most of the time for convention sakes, we don't add the positive. All right, let's look at subtracting. So the rules for subtracting integers is we're gonna keep the sign of the first number, change the subtraction to addition, and then change the sign of the second number. And then we just go back and use our addition rules. Okay, so in that case, if I go seven take away three, well, that's my normal subtraction with integers, right? That's just gonna leave me, leave me with four. Now, in my next example, I have six and I'm gonna take away negative two. So what it says for me to do is to keep the sign of the first one. So I'm gonna keep this sign and change the subtraction sign to addition. Well, that's easy, that's addition. And then we have to flip the sign of the second number. Well, now I can just combine those. So now I have six positive things and I'm adding two positive things to it. That's gonna leave me with eight. Let's look at the next one. Negative five, and I'm gonna take away negative three. Change the sign to addition. Change the sign of the second one. Let's combine those together. Negative five plus positive three. So I've got more negative things. I've got five negative things and I'm adding three positive to it. That's gonna leave me with negative two things overall. And if that one is a little tricky, feel free to draw those algebra tiles. You can draw them on the corner of your paper and visualize the operation with integers with that. All right, with our last one again, we're gonna go ahead and flip and flip. Well, that's easy. That's gonna leave me with positive 10, and there's our answer. Okay, for multiplication and division, I really like to use these emojis here. So what's happening with this is I have 
two negative symbols and I'm either gonna be multiplying or dividing them. So if my symbols are negative, well, my answer is gonna be positive. The happy face is really, really happy. The eyes match, the uh, face is happy, we're good to go. In my second one, again, this only works with multiplication and division. I've got two positive symbols. I'm gonna be multiplying them or dividing them. And if I do that, well, the answer is gonna be positive. So we're okay for that. And in my last one, the signs are opposite. So I've got a negative and a positive. Well, that's gonna give me a negative answer. So the eyes don't match, that's gonna be negative. So the other way we can say this is when the signs are the same, the answer is positive. And when the signs are different, the answer is negative. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's look at this example. So this is just multiplying here. So we have to decide what's going on with the signs. So in this one here, we've got positive times the positive. So the eyes are the same. That means our answer is gonna be six. And we just multiply that as normal. In the next one, we've got negative six and we're multiplying it by positive three. So the signs are different, the eyes don't match, so our answer is gonna be negative and just normal multiplication, negative 18. In our last example, the signs are the same, negative one times negative nine, that's gonna leave you with positive nine. All right, same idea for division. We've got the signs are, um, excuse me, the signs are the same, they're both positive, that's gonna leave me with nine. In the next one, negative 15 divided by three, that's gonna leave me with negative five. And in the final example, we've got both answers are negative, that's gonna leave us with positive six right there. Okay, I hope that helped. Feel free to download this little rule and keep it somewhere close by. If you are studying for any assessment or you're working on homework, good luck to you. Just as a reminder, I do offer one-on-one -on -one sessions. Information for that is in the description below. And good luck with your math work that you are working on, and I will see you all in the next video.